America fills out more forms than anything else. And you think about <laughs> why, why do we have to fill constantly forms out? I bet every student is asking the same question, every parent. How many times can I sign my name and how many times can students sign their name? With all the technology out there, some way, I hope uh, someone there who is a guru in technology <laughs> figures this out because high school students have to fill out more forms than we've ever seen in our lifetime. And with, quote, new technology is here, we're still filling out forms. And today is we're trying to remake this a much easier way to uh, fill out, I guess, the form. <laughs> as simple as that. Uh, and with this economic crisis, uh, I keep saying it's a restructuring. It's not a recession. It's really a restructuring. The old playbook doesn't work. The old politics or government does not work and will not work. The whole business uh, plan will not work. This is an entirely different, different uh, uh, recession. It's much deeper. It's going to have a huge effect. So that the fellow uh, stimulus program has helped us tremendously, and we can show that uh, every day, the way we used our money here in Chicago. We're very proud of it uh, for many community services, students, parents, all types of programs that we use the stimulus program, as well as putting people to work. Uh, the Earned Income Tax Credit, uh, the Winter Assistance Foreclosure Prevention Programs, and many more things that we use the stimulus package for, uh, which is really important. At the same time, to build a secure future of our city is, deals with education and, and giving people an opportunity uh, for higher education. If we don't give them the opportunities, then we shortchange our city and our country more than anything else. Uh, one of the things to do guarantee our future is, is important is the education of all of our younger people and continuing the education. It doesn't just end by going to college as well. We know that. Uh, we see that uh, people need financial assistance today. Unfortunately, if you look at the record, uh, many college students have graduated with financial assistance, and how do they pay it back? Their parents, parent is laid off, or the economy is not good. I think America has to restructure that. I believe in community service for people who receive financial assistance. If they give back to community service, they can pay off part of their, their obligation. Uh, when people graduate from college or graduate school and they're in debt, that is not too much of a future for them. And so I really believe that we have to restructure this uh, in the long run to look at new ideas coming from students and the business community and government all together so we can give more and more opportunities uh, for, our, uh, for our young people. We are pleased today with Miguel Duvalier to talk about the ongoing efforts to help high school and, co and college students and their families come through what can be a complicated process, and um, government's getting more complicated by their processes, filling out all these state and, uh, state and federal financial aid. Uh, it's too bad they can't talk to one another, but I guess they can't. Uh, uh, they have to fill out their uh, bureaucracy. I guess they have to have people work down there. Anyone who knows, uh, fill out this form, no FASA. The federal application for free student aid, that's quite a, anytime you have a new, um, a new program, they have to have FA, uh, FAFA, Sue. it's called Federal Application for Free Student Aid. I wonder whoever designed that program, we, uh, it's really something knows how challenging the word is itself, and I don't know how they do this, but this is interesting. Under the program, students uh, can receive up to 10000 a year to help pay for college. It's simple as that. Okay, let's say you get $10,000 uh, to help pay for college. For every year, the millions of dollars available through, st the, through the state in this program run out before many students complete the forms and send their applications. Now, think of that. You fill out the forms and send in the application in the technology world that we live in. Again, we don't want that to happen, even if one student from Chicago. So the city clerk's office has created a program in partnership with a non-for-profit ladder up to help students fill out forms. All, all, all a young person has to do is come to the clerk's office at City Hall on Tuesday evenings through April 20th. It's as easy as that. This program is working well, but we need more students to take advantage of it because this is an opportunity for you to take advantage of it. I want to thank the clerk for his leadership, and Miguel Duvalle has been a leader in education uh, for many years, first of all in the state senate. He's been the leader in education, and even today as city clerk, uh, his great concern is the quality education that young people are receiving here in the state of Illinois. 
Another program in this area is that is paying dividends already in, in the Chicago Public Schools aggressive campaign to increase the rate for graduating seniors. Uh, I am very pleased to announce today that compared to the same time last year, there's a 33% increase in the number of eligible CPS seniors who have completed the financial aid form. CPS focused additional resources in helping our students complete the forms this year because you know that students who complete them are more likely to go on to college. They are using a wiki monitoring system to track the progress of students at each high school, which provides counselors the data uh, they need to identify students who have not filled out these forms. Here at Steinmetz, for example, they have seen a 38% increase in, in, in the completion compared to the same time last year, which I really want to compliment all those that work at Steinmetz. System-wide, the students who have filled out the form have access to $75 million in federal and state funding. Last year at this time, 44% of eligible students uh, had completed the paperwork. This year, the number is about 59%, which we're really happy with. Congratulations to all those schools and the counselors and the, and the teachers that have worked and the parents and the students. We know that majority of our students qualify for the full amount of federal assistance. In fact, because of the recession, we have a 12% 12 12 more students eligible for financial assistance this year than last year because of unemployment within their family, unfortunately. So it's critical that our, our young people and their families take advantage uh, of the help that's available to complete the form. They pay their federal taxes. Uh, this is, they pay it, so they're eligible. This is not a giveaway program, but they're eligible. I want to thank Miguel Duvalier, Ladder Up, for their commitment to helping our students achieve their full potential in life. I want to commend the Chicago Public Schools for their great success, the principals and teachers and counselors, especially the students and their family. Oh, oh, we have worked very hard over the past several years uh, to lift students' expectations and raise the standards. Uh, to help them uh, see through high school uh, graduation, not as an end, but as the beginning uh, of their education process. To keep our progress going, we have to provide every child with an opportunity to go on to higher education.